hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k minus 1 to the power of 6 is equals to 4 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for all the values of k but here we just find all the real roots of this equation so it means that we solve this problem for the real values of k or in other words we say that we find uh, only the real roots of this equation so uh, we move toward the solution of this problem and here first uh, we need to rewrite this equation as here we move this 4 to the power of 6 into the left hand side and it will be written as k minus 1 to the power of 6 minus 4 to the power of 6 is equals to 0 and, and now here in the next step we again rewrite this equation as so here we have this is k minus 1 to the power of 6 and we write it as k minus 1 cubed and its whole power 2 minus in the same pattern we write this term as 4 cubed and its whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to use this nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this uh, according to this rule we write our above equation as in this form so first we write this term as this is a minus b the value of a is uh, k minus 1 minus the value of b is the value of a is k minus 1 cubed and minus the value of b is 4 cubed okay in the second case we have a plus b the value of a is k minus 1 cubed and plus the value of b is 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step, uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k minus 1 cubed minus 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. And the second case is we write k minus 1 cubed and plus 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So here we need to solve uh, both of these two equations and now here first we need to focus on equation number 1. So that from equation number 1 we have uh, here in the equation number 1 uh, we use this nice cubic formula. You know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So in the first equation we use this next formula. Uh, so according to this cubic formula we write our equation number 1 as first you have a minus b. The value of a is k minus 1 minus the value of b is 4 into we have this is a squared the value of a is k minus 1 square plus a b the value of a is k minus 1 and the value of b is 4 plus b squared the value of b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we have k minus 5 minus 1 minus 4 becomes minus 5 and from here we need to use this algebraic formula and it will be written as k square plus 1 square minus 2 times of k plus here we multiply 4 on both of these two terms and it will be written as 4k minus 4 plus this 4 square becomes 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need little bit simplification here and it will be written as k minus 5 times of this is k square and this is minus 2k plus 4k becomes here plus 2k this is 1 square becomes 1 and 1 minus 4 and plus 16 so minus 4 plus 16 becomes here plus 12 and 12 plus 1 becomes here 15 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k minus 5 equals to 0 and the second case is we write k square plus 2k plus 15 is equals to 0 
so here we have uh, minus 4 plus 16 becomes 12 and 12 plus 1 becomes 13 okay so this is the little mistake this will become here 13 okay so this is also 13 so here uh, we get the value of k is equals to 5 and you see here this is the real root of the given equation and here we on we need only real roots and now here first we check that is this quadratic equation has real root or not by using the determinant formula uh, so you know about that uh, uh, in order to use the discriminant formula we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c is equals to 13 and we state the discriminant formula as delta equals to b squared minus 4 times of ac and you know, you know that uh, for real root our data should must be greater than or equals to zero so we check its behavior the value of b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 13 2 square becomes 4 minus 4 times of 13 becomes here 4 3 is a 12 we write 2 and carry 1 4 1 is a 4 plus 1 becomes 5 so here you clearly see that a 4 minus 52 becomes here minus 48 and you see here our data is less than zero uh, it means that uh, this equation gives us complex root but here we uh, need only real roots uh, so that uh, we rejected this case okay we rejected this case because it gives us the complex roots so in the first case we get only one uh, value of k only one real root of k that is k equals to 5 and now we move towards our uh, equation number two so that from equation number two we copy down equation number two here it is k minus one cubed plus four cubed is equals to zero in in the second equation we use uh, an other cubic formula and according to this we will be written as uh, it will becomes here a and this is a cubed plus b cubed becomes here uh, a plus b times of uh, a square uh minus a b so here our a is k minus 1 and b is 4 plus b square and b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 here we need more simplifications and you get uh, from here we get k minus 1 plus 4 becomes k plus 3 into here we again expand this formula and it will be written as k square plus 1 square minus 2 times of k and here we multiply 4 on both of these two terms and it will becomes minus 4k plus 4 plus this 4 square becomes 16 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k plus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we write this is k square and minus 2k minus 4k becomes minus 6k and this 1 square becomes 1 plus 4 plus 16 becomes here 21 and this whole equation is equals to zero because we divide this into the two cases so from here we easily get the value of k is equals to minus three so this is the second real root of the given equation and now here again we check that is this equation has a real root or not so first we write the coefficient of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to one b equals to minus six and c equals to 21 and we write the discriminant formula as delta equals to b square minus four times of ac the value of b is minus 6 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 21. So here we get minus 6 square becomes 36 and 4 times of 21 becomes here 4 ones are 4 and 4 two are 8. It will become here 84. So it will become here minus 48 and you again clearly see that it is less than 0. So if this is less than 0, uh, it means that... Uh, uh, this equation does not have a real root or in other words we say that it has complex root so if this has complex root uh, so that we uh, rejected this case okay so we have only the real solutions of the given equation are k is equals to minus 3 and 5 so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos